Yo, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm bringing you a video on how you can get yourself a shiny Gyarados and you can repeat this as many times as you want and it only takes about five-ish minutes and it's got no cheating, no hacking. It is a limited time event so it doesn't last long so you gotta get it done in the next day or so. Uh, I think it finishes on the 3rd of January 2020. So if you're watching this after that, your chance is probably over, so you might as well click off the video because I don't think this will help you at all. Now what you're gonna do is go to your mystery gift if you haven't already, click get the wild area news. It will connect and, oh, it's connecting. And once it's done that, it'll tell you connected. All right, stand by. And now it'll say you've connected to the internet and received the latest updates on the wild area. Time to go have a look in those Pokemon dens. And that will give you the latest update if for some reason you haven't done it already and there are no Magikarp showing up in your dens. Now there are two ways you can get this done. The first is if you have the Nintendo online, you can go onto your Wicom and you can refresh it once you've connected to the internet and it allows you to search for people that are hosting the Magikarp raids. Now that's the quickest way to do it. You quickly click on it. You have to be fast because this is, these, these are filling up. You press start challenge once you've joined and it will try and join and if you have your desired Pokemon in your first slot of your party, it'll automatically place them in and you'll be ready to load into a raid. Now, because it's a pretty weak Pokemon, it won't take you that long. Sometimes you can get it in one hit, depending on what level it is and how strong it is. But if you've saved before you've loaded into the den, you can check real quick if it's a shiny. And if it is not, you can close down your game and rejoin another party straight away if you don't want to catch the Pokemon non-shiny because the non-shiny versions still guarantee three plus ivs and you or three plus max ivs and you can get a chance of getting a six iv which will allow you to get a six iv gyarados which is extremely awesome especially for competitive pokemon if you're into that sort of thing now the second way you can get this done which is preferable if you don't have the Nintendo online is you just go around to any of the raid dens and you either pop in a wishing piece uh, yourself to get it started or you go to one that's already turned on looking for um, the Magikarp raids. Now if you've done the start, the thing at the start with the mystery box um, and it's all updated they should start appearing in most of the dens. Um, if you want you can do the time skip glitch where you change the date and time a uh, day forward to change the Pokemon in the raid so you can try and get the appropriate raid if for some reason you got a different Pokemon um, and that's what you're gonna do if you do not have Nintendo online and you can just do the raid with bots and it should be easy enough as long as your Pokemon is appropriate like an electric or a grass type for instance um, and then you, it, you should be able to catch the Pokemon and the chance of you catching it in the Pokeball is actually higher if you're the host and you've got bots on your team, computers, NPCs, then I'm pretty sure it's a 100% catch rate no matter what ball you use. So that's also something you can do. Um, keep in mind you can do both ways at once. If you have Nintendo Online, while you're, uh, there are no raids for you to join, you can go around and host your own. As I said, the chance of you catching it is increased even though when you've joined a raid, I'm pretty sure you should still be able to catch it in any ball. I've caught them in other people's raids in Pokeballs and Premier Balls, so I don't even know if it's possible for you not to catch it. But yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's about it. The only thing I have left to say is make sure you save after you catch every shiny because you need to have that um, saved in case you do a reset or something and you've forgotten, then you'll lose it. But yeah, as you can see on screen, I've got, I've got a lot of these, and this collection probably only took me 20 or so minutes, not even maybe. It's very quick, very fast, you can rack up a box of these in no time. But yeah, other than that, good luck with your shiny hunting, comment down below if I forgot something, or if something wasn't explained well enough, and I'll get back to you super quick. But other than that, enjoy your day, good luck with your shiny hunting, and I'll catch you later. Peace.